afternoon viewers, welcome to uh, the uh, pre-round 17 injury report uh, brought to you from the, uh, the lovely resort, jungle resort of Twin Waters. Uh, before we get going, there was a fair bit of uh, comment and controversy about my little shot at the uh, inside swoop boys last week. Um, look, that, in all seriousness, they're not that bad. They are, you know, they're an acquired taste, a little bit like castor oil. You do get used to it after five or six uh, doses of it. So uh, I have to give them their due. They're, they're, they're not too bad, the, the inside uh, swoop boys. And uh, you know, I think I said, you know, I was asleep within 10 seconds. Well, you know, actually it was 30. So um, I, I, as I said, I have to give them their due. And, and I think the other thing that's worth mentioning is um, Dane Swan is um, angling for a shot here as, a, this, my, as my second banana, uh, as a co-host of this show. Um, look, and it, it could actually give Dane the, um, the, the, the notoriety and the, a bit of a famous publicity that he might be looking for. So uh, uh, ha happy to uh, look at that, Dane, and get you in for an audition uh, uh, for that. And, uh, and I'm sure, look, at Bert Newton started out as a great second banana and, and, and look where he finished. So uh, there, be, there will be hope for you yet. So um, keep up the good work, Dane, and with your Twitter account and we'll see what we can do. OK, let's, uh, let's move on to the uh, injury report. Uh, Flynn Appleby with a hamstring, it's probably going to be something that is, you know, uh, maybe up to a month on the sideline. So um, unfortunate for Flynn. As I think I mentioned last week, he uh, pulled up sore from training and uh, anyway, subsequent scans revealed that, it, that he had damaged that hamstring. So he'll be out for you know, probably three to four weeks. Um, Geordie Degoe uh, will have a surgeon review later this week. Um, where we're at with him, you know, we're, as I think I said a couple of weeks ago, we're confident that Jordan would resume before the end of the home and away season. Uh, obviously what uh, the surgeon provides us with that information or his information will, will go a long way towards um, you know, giving us a, a more accurate account of when he does um, when he does return. So we'll get more information later in the week on Geordie. Uh, Howie and Will Kelly. Uh, Will's progressed uh, quite, uh, quite significantly. Uh, he's joined in training, uh, not wearing any uh, guard on that elbow at this stage. Uh, I think he just needs to develop uh, some strength and some flexibility through the joint. But you know, certainly in the last two weeks, he's, um, he's really progressed strongly and uh, yeah, there is some chance that we'll see Will uh, playing again before the season's out, and that was, uh, you know, five or six weeks ago. That was something that was uh, that we didn't anticipate. So that's great news for him. Howie, without putting any timelines on, continues to go forward, starting to um, get some good flexion back in that leg, uh, and we'll continue to monitor him week by week. Um, Tommy Langdon pulled out of the the VFL game very early uh, last week, or, or the match simulation last week uh, with, with, with some knee soreness. Um, he, he's had a light week this week. We'll just see what, uh, what, what the end of the week brings for Tom, whether he will be available for, for selection. Um, Braden Maynard with that corky will be, uh, will be fine. He'll be OK. Uh, Maney will have a surgeon review today. Um, that nasty injury to the cheek and, and to, to the uh, eye socket is, is healing well. It's progressing. Uh, and I think within 10 days we'll, we'll, we'll be able to um, be reasonably confident that, that uh, he'll be able to get some training in, some contact training in, and with a view the other side of those 10 days to be looking at um, some sort of return date. So that's good news for Chris uh, because he has uh, recovered uh, you know, quite quickly actually. Uh, unfortunately, Nathan Murphy suffered a similar injury to Chris uh, last week in the match simulation. Uh, that will, he's having surgery on, on his uh, eye socket and cheekbone today. Uh, that will put him out for at least the three to four week period a, as well. Uh, we'll monitor that as we get sort of closer to that end of that time. But uh, it's an unfortunate injury, uh, injury for Murph. Um, and as I say, it's probably a month at least on the sidelines. Uh, Tommy Phillips hurt a, a hamstring. Um, it's grade two, 
uh, which means, again, it's, it's, it's a four-weeker. I uh, heard that ga- hamstring in the game against the, the Lions last, uh, last Friday night. So, so Tom will be on the sidelines for that period of time. Um, the other player of obvious interest, Adam Trelaw, um, ha- has started to do some really significant um, training in terms of uh, uh, not so much the competitiveness, but, but, the, but the ball work and, and his running uh, has been strong. We're really pleased with the way he's progressing. Uh, and as similar to Geordie, we were confident and are confident that he will, he will see some football um, before the uh, end of the home and away season. And he's still on track for that. But we, we, we need to get a few more of the, of, the, of the strong full training sessions into him before we can um, uh, give any, ac- or any further accuracy to that. But uh, our confidence remains high that we'll see, he'll, he will see some football before the end of the season.